Hi friends, I am still in Colorado resting at a ranch, but I wanted to make a video every week just to check in with you guys and teach you some things and hang out. When you fill out your coloring bulletin pages and you turn them into me for candy, you may have noticed that a lot of the questions are about what don't you understand or what would you like to know more about or what questions do you have? So in this video, I'm going to try and answer some of the questions that have come in from your coloring bulletins. If you ever have a question about church or God or the Bible or anything else, you can always ask me, you can ask your parents, you can ask Mother Nikki and Father Matt. There are plenty of people who can help you look into and investigate and find answers to some of these questions. The first question that I have, I got this question a lot when we did Easter and the Passion Story. A lot of people wanted to know, why did they kill Jesus? Why were the people so mad at Jesus? Why did Jesus get killed? A lot of people wrote questions like that, and I'll try to explain. So Jesus was talking about God's kingdom. Jesus was talking about living in a way where we listen to God above everybody else. And God is all about forgiveness and justice and peace and mercy. Now, there were powerful people at the time who had used things like violence or hatred or ignorance or stealing. They had used those kinds of nasty things to become powerful. And Jesus was saying, that's not real power. You don't get real power by hurting people or taking their stuff or lying to them. You get real power by being loving and honest and forgiving and peaceful. That's God's story. Now, the people who were already in power, the people who were in charge, the people who had money or had people who listened to them, they weren't really excited about this because Jesus was saying, let's do things differently. Let's have a new world. Let's have a new type of power. And they said, no, thank you. We like having our power. We like having money. We like being able to hurt people. We don't want things to change. And Jesus was saying, I think things really should change, and God wants them to change, and God's going to help them change. And all these people who are getting hurt, who are suffering, who don't have what they need, they want that change too. God is on their side. Now, the people who were in power, the people who didn't want things to change, they said, oh, we got to stop this guy. We got to make sure that this doesn't continue to happen. But that's the trick. That's the miracle. That's the surprise of Easter. They thought they were winning. They thought that by killing Jesus, they were taking this whole love, peace, justice thing and making it go away. But it didn't go away because Jesus came back. What Jesus was saying and doing is that God's power, God's love is so much bigger than hatred and violence, even death and killing and hurting and war and disease and stealing and lying and all those nasty things. They tried to use those to hurt Jesus, but it didn't work. God is bigger and more powerful, and the kingdom of God that Jesus came to help us build, that we're all building, that's a kingdom of peace and love and justice and mercy. And when that comes up against hatred and violence and power and lies, the good stuff's gonna win. Jesus won. He died, they killed him, but he came back from the dead and he said, I'm gonna keep building this kingdom, I'm gonna keep loving these people, and I'm gonna keep fighting for change. So that's kind of why they killed Jesus, because there are these powers, some people are involved in it, and some of it is just large systems and structures of having kings and having very wealthy people, and they said, uh, we kind of want to keep things the way they are, but they can't. God's kingdom is here. We are building it and we are living in it. And no amount of hatred or anger or sadness or violence is ever going to change that.